thank you very much for phoning me. It's very sad, it's very even dangerous. People are angry, are afraid, very afraid because these people live him here from the countryside, you know. They have animals, they have uh, uh, some greens, they have the trees, and they are and he didn't sleep because he said he was not going to leave the, the village, even though the police and the authorities said they had to leave it. They said he said that he was not going to leave his animals alone. And I I I, I think about it and I say if I'm afraid, if I'm suffering what is this guy having inside of his shirt? I can't imagine it. Well, have you been able to speak to the firefighters at all? Yes, they are exhausted. And they are exhausted because they are in Castilla and Leon are suffering, is suffering uh, many problems with the resources to fight the fire. It's very hot here in Spain. The wind is crazy. And this combination is, is crazy. It's absolutely madness and they are exhausted, they are uh, traveling all the uh, provinces uh, around, uh, fight, uh, fighting with a lot of hours, with a lot of uh, greed. And when, I, and then when I talk to them, they are almost crying. Some of them are almost crying because they say, I don't know how to feel. I don't know how am I feeling. I didn't sleep, I've been working a long time in the night, so please don't make, don't make me very difficult questions. And the people who live in this area, do they have anywhere safe in their houses to go to if the smoke and the flames get to them? Anywhere like a, a basement? They have no, no bunkers. I mean, the fire, it, it, it was not control, under control. It was not under control in the morning, but it was far away from Tavara, which is my the village in which I am. But about three o'clock, it started to a kind of wind storm and it came to the to the village and then people have started to run, run away. Some of them ran away and some of them ran into the fire in, in order to fight it. It was absolutely crazy. They ran and into the, the fire. Almost in, inside the fire with the with some water, with some resources for fighting it. Not only the firefighters but people, normal people, regular people. Did that work, that tactic? Yes, I mean, it's it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Because they, they took some machines, some some uh, machines for working in the countryside, and it was useful for avoiding fire to set up in the cereal. So it's not very professional, but it's useful. What is the forecast for the next few days? Not just in terms of the weather, but in terms of the wind and the fire. Yes. We are not optimistic here at all. We are not optimistic here. Because it's windy and this, after, <coughs> uh, this afternoon and evening and even night is going to be windy. It's hot, about 34, 35 degrees. Uh, so it's a bad cocktail. It's a bad cocktail for fighting a fire like this. And it's very long, it's very long. To the, uh, last night, I was in a kind of little mountain, in a, in a cliff, and I could see uh, like a wall, like the Chinese wall of the of the fire. And, if, and imagine if it's growing up, it's growing up. Nowadays, today we have it. We have 16 little villages, li little uh, populations which have been to be evacuated because there's, there, there was no way of surviving there. It was very dangerous. 16. Juan Navarro Garcia from the Paris newspaper, thank you so much for that description. And of course, all of us here wish you and all the people you're speaking to, including the villagers and the firefighters, uh, safety as you deal with the effects <coughs> of those fires. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, uh, we've been in contact with a number of people in the region and we've received this message from Patricia, who was born in Zamora in western Spain. That's where Juan was speaking to us from. This is Patricia. Last night has been uh, really difficult for hundreds of people. They all have been evacuated. So far, uh, 16 different villages and towns have been evacuated to different temporary accommodations in Zamora city and in uh, other nearby villages. Uh, the politicians in our region, Castilla and Leon, are uh, responding very poorly to this uh, emergency and it's the second time in